It's, it's a bit of a somber. It's a bittersweet day today. As uh, if you're watching on 1045ESPN.com, you see a new guy over here in the in the co-host chair. And of course, I'm talking Not about intern song. Nick. Tiger band Nick here. Nick, what's going on, man? How you feeling? Man, T, it feels like we're on the Four Mandalore podcast right now. I know it does a little bit. So everybody should listen to the Four Mandalore podcast where me and Nick break down each episode of The Mandalorian for an hour. Uh, it's been a hell of a season thus far. Maybe this last episode, a bit of a step back, but generally they come out on Friday. Our recording's getting weird with all the travel. We'll, we'll have one up in the next few days. Just look out for it, all that. But uh, yeah, Nick, so it's been it's been a hell of a year. For those that don't know, um, Nick is in the golden band from Tigerland. He's in the drum line. He, back at the very beginning of the football season, it costed me in the hallway leaving the press conference. They told me he loved the show. He wanted to look about interning, and we put him to work. My man's been working like 6 a.m. all the way through Hester's show at 3. And then he goes straight to Tiger Band for the rest of the night. He earned some college credit. He's been here for a few months now, about four months. Nick, today's the last day, man. I, I wish it wasn't so. I know. I know. It's a big bummer. You've been an incredible intern. Do great work. Search engine optimization. SEO people. How about that? All those blog posts you've been reading. That's all Tiger Band, Nick. I know it's been great for Rivers. Nobody's going to miss no Nick more than Rivers. No one's going to be more sad about this than me. <laughs> I know. I know. Because you have to start doing two people's jobs actually, once again. Yes, I'm going to have to take on lots of jobs now. So, Nick, in all of our infinite wisdom, what did Off the Bench teach you over these last few months? Man, it, it's really just the experience of getting to live my degree and not yeah. just you know being in a classroom. Uh, it was incredible. And, and doing it with people that I, I really love and have, have come to love as, oh, wow. as very close friends oh, wow. has um, been an experience that <laughs> my entire life I'm never going to forget. Um, You're a little dusty in here. Especially with the, the season that we had. It kind of had the perfect storm of... Yeah. Um, of circumstances of you know i got this opportunity to, to work in sports talk radio which is uh a field that i've been listening to sports talk radio since i was very very young um your dad yeah um all those people M- my dad is kind of the guy that brought me into that world yeah um he was doing um listening to sports talk radio every day on the way uh back from school and and to school and you know game day and like thinking like wow like i could actually like work here and, and do this is um it, it's it's kind of left me to loss for words for for the how lucky i've been it's crazy man here. well we i think are the lucky ones yeah i, mean, I, I know you feel that way and for sure i get it because we're great but like <laughs> <laughs> we are the lucky ones for sure uh so you're 20 years old yes right now mm-hmm. um so how old were you for that 13 and 0 in 2011 i was uh 12 so you were 12 years yeah. old man and for those that don't know not only is nick in the golden band but he grew up a hard. You keep that playing. I was enjoying that. He grew up a hardcore. Uh, he, he grew up a hardcore LSU fan. Maybe my favorite moment of the year with you uh, outside doing the Four Mandalore podcast and talking all things Star Wars, which has been spectacular. Um, is after the Alabama game, you emotion pouring out of your eyes, almost shell shocked, looking at the field. We did it. You were in Tuscaloosa that night. What, what was it like being a part of that band on that field in that stadium as LSU finally breaks the decade-long curse? I think there are a lot of experiences in life that you can say, like, this was one of the greatest moments of my entire life. And we kind of use hyperbole a lot and say, wow, that was one of the best things I've ever done. No but, doubt. But being in that stadium and watching Joe Burrow get lifted up and carried off the field in person and, and getting to experience that firsthand really – as a lifelong fan, like you said, uh, was really the fulfillment of all my dreams as, as a Tiger fan. <laughs> I mean, like, that's, I really, true. that's true. Th- there's no there's no greater feeling I've ever had watching Tiger football, and, and watching Tiger football is probably my favorite thing in the world. So <laughs> that feeling is incredible. Blessed times that we live in, both Star Wars content-wise and LSU success-wise. Like really the perfect storm of just stuff it is. this semester, man. Like It's been a good I, fall. Absolutely. It's been a really good fall. Um... And so this is tinged with a bit of sadness, Nick, because... No, I'm actually extremely sad. Right I've grown to love you. Then you always have I know, a place here. I was like, here. this music's fun. But then I was like, oh, no, I hope it doesn't make no, him too no. sad. No, 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 no. Actually, look, actually oh, and really look at that. Oh, I mean, there's... You put the picture up. Me, oh, Nick, God. Maria, the SEC championship last week. They got the uniforms on, on the field after the game, celebrating the perfect season that was. So it's been a hell of a run, Nick. 
Um, anything you want to say to the people where to let the people know where they can find you? This is the perfect closing song to it too, right here. <laughs> this is like this is so like late nineties, turn oh. of the turn of the millennium, two thousand. I feel like I'm mixing up a senior slideshow <laughs> right now. No, as as I That's um... exactly what this is. <laughs> Yeah, so, so tell the people where they can keep up with you. I uh, My social media is at Nick A. Ashton. Um, that's my uh, Instagram and Twitter. Um, Facebook. Uh, anything that is going on uh, with your vintage drum needs, I'm your guy. If you have old drums, old uh, old things you need restoring, yeah. you don't know what it is, send it along. I would love to, to help out with that. Um, I just want to thank all the listeners as well um, for letting me be a part of y'all's lives for the past few months. Um, being in y'all's shoes uh, before is something I can understand the perspective of being here and being there. And um, I'm just so grateful for everyone and all the support, all the people in the huddle that have always said, you know, such great things about me. And um, y you guys are just have, have made the past few months indescribably amazing. Mm. And mm. I, I just I love everyone in this room. I love all the listeners. Um, I'm so grateful to, to have been a part of these guys lives. And it me means everything to me. It really does. Well, we'll remember you. Intern name. Nick A. Ashton on Twitter. Follow the Four Mandalore podcast at Four Mandalore Pod. We'll tweet it out after this segment. We will continue to do that through the rest of this season. Obviously, whenever the next season of Mandalorian comes up as well, we'll find a way to get it done. But Nick, um, enjoy the rest of college. You're not even 21 yet. You've got all your life ahead of you. The mid twenties are the most fun time in your life, right? The most. You think you've had yeah. fun so far, but like, like even the college, next few years of your life are about to be yeah, real good. Yeah. College was a lot of fun, but like I found I actually had way more responsibility in college, ironically, uh -huh. than I did in my mid twenties. That like twenty two to twenty four, it's really balling. Oof. See, I, I would say about twenty three to actually, I would say about twenty four to twenty six. Is when I was hitting my okay. sweet spot. I've of been life. married for like six years. Well, I, know, well, I, guess, I, yeah, I guess I'd only been married for a couple of years at that point. But that's when, like, you know, you're, you're making a little money. You're feeling confident. You're no longer in college anymore. You can just party however much you want. So, don't get anybody pregnant until you're ready. And um, awesome advice. And enjoy yourself. Uh, just, just once again, uh, on the record on radio, just want to say how grateful I am for this experience. Um. To everyone I met here, um, thank you so much for letting me be a part uh, of your life in any any capacity that I was, and um, hope to see you guys all very recurringly. Mm. It's a little, it's a little sad. Yeah. I'm Craig Dugan in the huddle. Nick Nick moving out. I feel like a proud papa. I do too. Like I'm not ready to send him off into the world, but I feel like I feel like he learned a lot. I feel like he did an incredible job. And if he wants to do this, whatever you pursue in life, Nick, I think you're going to be very good at. Whether it's music being a lawyer, whatever you end up doing, you know you're going to be successful. So love you, intern Nick. Uh, when we get back here on Off the Bench, we're going to talk a little fell. We're going to go through our weekend predictions of last week. And like I said, we're going to talk about the man who will have the best weekend of anybody in the state outside of Joe Burrow. Uh, this is Off the Bench, 104.5, 100.3, 94.7 ESPN.